When I visit a school, a popular question students ask me is, why is the sky blue? Why is it not red, pink, or green? But when you get a text from your news director asking, why is the sky purple? You know it's time for an explainer. Now, we were the lucky ones across the first coast with just a brush from Hurricane Michael. The storm even left us with this blew my mind. The answer to these questions can be found by looking at the trillions of particles floating around in our atmosphere, most of which cannot be seen to the human eye. Now, as sunlight shines down to Earth, most of the colors of the spectrum are able to reach the surface uninterrupted. But the shorter wavelengths, blue and violet, are scattered in every direction. This light bounces from particle to particle until it eventually reaches your eyes. But the sky doesn't appear violet and blue because of our eyes' limitations. Since violet is the shortest wavelength of the spectrum, our sensitive eyes only detect blue. However, the violet is there, and we saw it after Hurricane Michael, but why? In this case, the air was super saturated. We had dew points in the mid and upper 70s, the sun was setting, so we were losing daylight, and the hurricane's clouds surrounded us, hanging low to the ground. This combination allowed our eyes to see your true since violet is there to begin with. We just don't usually get to see it. The light was scattered around the moisture in the air, causing the magical purple color. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Lauren Routenkranz for First Coast News on your side.